I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Take a look. Until next time. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. I don't claim to be the best, the finest weapons in armor. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Brigands I can handle, but this talk of dragons? The world's gone mad. Now, walk among the stars! Hey, watch it! You see? The terminology is clearly... Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait. Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy. Barangar! Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been si Did 
nearby. You should come too. We've got nothing to talk about. So exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. I want to hear about this dragon. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irileth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I envy I you the afford to risk hmm. both of you. I had I you figured you for me. On ways to I think you'll the city appreciate this. Dragons. As you come to Dragon's Reach, spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Remember One last thing here. For that. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Gods and Dragon Reach say it. you've aided the army. It took me weeks to find out why. They say Talos favors you. You have the Jarl's confidence, friend. And so you have mine. And dear Elif, we either come back covered with glory, or not at all.
Here's the situation. Cause trouble in White Run, and I'll follow you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. A dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. But House Card, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, so how far. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. Glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn yeah. right. Let's move out. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsman, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow... <laughs>
That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more I can't than believe it. You're I don't know Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? No trouble. All we ask is to. I don't care. Oh, if you're lucky, I don't cost you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. She cannot hide from us forever. Got some good pieces out here. I don't claim to... Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Why, he's pretty You killed the dragon. Mister, could you spare a coin? And what does the Empire... I'm so hungry. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's... it's what Brennan said I should do since she died. I wound up here, but... Uh, really? Do you... do you... Oh, well... Thanks anyway, I suppose. There has been talk amongst the gods that you are a dragon boy. But such a thing... Old friend, surely that's not... Patron of the great clan Battleborn! A name I'm sure you know well. Money, you laggard. What else? It always comes down to coin. The Grey Manes have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. What have they got to show for it? Beggar's rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's true, the Vignar Grey Mane and his lot, but it's one thing to take pride in your lineage, and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition? I <laughs> I'm as much a Nord as the next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the past like those great ones. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. <laughs> hmm. 
masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgrub. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Take a look. You know, we've, we've got the the two. You should join the major. <laughs> The 
Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. The security in White Run is terrible. Shame. Yes. You still need to remove that blood stain from the incident. Certainly, Mom. Need something? Are you sure? Oh, no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. How goes the begging today, Brendan? That's if it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm... Have you seen that shrine of Asura? They say magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They... Of course, there is Sparengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. Hi there. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I don't know who else I can trust. Ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. The scourge that has so